Welcome to day 11 of your 14-day Pilates Reformer Workout Challenge. My name is Melanie, your Mildly Goth Pilates instructor. Today, we're gonna do a full body reformer workout. We're gonna take it pretty moderate intensity. Please place on three reds and a blue spring or three heavy one light. Headrest will be up. We'll start with footwork variations with a little extra spice. Meet me lying down on the machine. If you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe. I would love to see you weekly. And if you're not yet a member, I invite you to come check out my super secret exclusive workouts that live over there. That's where the party's happening. We're gonna start with the arches of the feet on the hour outer corners, pelvis neutral, rib cage down. We're gonna take a big breath in, exhale, push away. Inhale, bend the knees, bring it in slowly with control. Big breath in, exhale. Bend the knees, bring it in slowly with control. So let's use our breath. Use all the tools we've been finding through this whole sequence as we get right into it this time. So as we inhale, Feel your diaphragm expand as we exhale, abs engage. Feel your ribs knitting together, feel that tension between your hip bones, good. Good, bring it on in. Let's go for three more. Hopefully feeling that lower abdominal connection already. Last two. And one. Good, halfway home. Tiny pulses up and down. Let's go for eight, seven. Find your tricky spot again. Five, four, three, two, one. Big inhale. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bring everything back. Good. Reach back. Place your headrest in the downward position. We'll move right into pelvic lift, which is a little bit out of our usual order, but we're going to do something a little bit different for footwork today. So sacrum heavy, rib cage down, arms down by your side or up over your shoulders. We're going to lift the hips up, not to full bridge, just about a hand's distance, a fist distance up above the mat. Lower and lift. Lower, lift. Trying to keep the carriage very still. Spine is in neutral, squeezing the glutes, using your lower abs to lift you up and down. After four more, we're gonna press in and out, moving the carriage away. Last two, and one. Pause here, abs supporting you. We press out, bring it in slowly. One, two, three. Big breath in. Exhale, press it out, bring it in slowly. One, two, three. Big inhale into the back. Exhale, press out. Bring it in slowly. One, two, three. Big inhale out. Exhale, bring it in slowly. One, two, three, four more. Relaxing all of the muscles in your face. Feeling all of those little knots in your upper traps starting to relax. Last one here, pause almost in. So this carriage is just away from the stopper. We're gonna take those tiny pulses up and down again. Let's go for a 10, nine, squeezing the glutes, eight, seven, trying to keep the carriage still, five, six, <laughs> five, can't count club, four, three, two, one, big inhale, exhale. Lower down, good. Next, we're gonna take that concept of the pelvic lift and continue using that through the rest of our footwork. If this bothers your back at any time, just place your sacrum down, it's really not a big deal. So let's place the arches of the feet on the foot bar, hip distance apart. We'll curl our toes over. Let's begin lifting into a pelvic lift. So again, just about hips, just about a fist distance high. We're gonna keep that hover, ribs down, big inhale. Exhale, press out. Bring it in for three, two, one. Big inhale, exhale, press out. Bring it in for three, two, one. Glutes are engaged, ribs talking to pelvis. Using your breath. And bring it in for three, two, one. So we didn't start off with our dedicated breath work today, but we've done so much of that in this series that hopefully by now you are in a pattern of knowing how to apply that even to a regular series or a regular class. But don't worry, we'll, we'll have a mellow out moment too. Feeling the hamstrings really engaged here. Good. We're gonna take two, 
And if you need to place a hand under your sacrum just to make sure your hips aren't going too low, you're welcome to do that. Let's bring the carriage almost to a close. Tiny lift and lower, squeezing the glutes. Let's go for 10, nine. If your low back is bothering you, just check to make sure that you're not arching the back. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Roll the spine down, close the stopper. Let's move on. Next, legs come to parallel, balls of the feet on the foot bar. We're gonna go into our releve or raised heel position. We're going to lift the hips up in our pelvic lift. Again, just about a fist distance up. Heels stay high. So we press out and in. And again, if you need to keep your hand under your sacrum, just to make sure that you're not lowering the hips down for this one, feel free to do that. Good. Four more. This one is the hardest one for me by far. Ribs stay talking to your pelvis. Relax the muscles in between your eyebrows. Feel your mouth relax. Good. Bring the carriage almost all the way home. Now we're going to take our tiny pelvic lifts again. We go for 10, 9, 8, squeezing the glutes but using our low abs as well. This is 5, 4, 3, 2, one big inhale, exhale, lower the pelvis down, close the stopper, hug your knees into your chest, exhale, relax, rock your head side to side, look left, look right, take a big inhale, squeeze your knees into your chest, exhale, feel like a deflating balloon, losing all tension in your body, good. Place your hands on your knees. We're just going to circle the knees around, open, close, keeping the toes together or the metatarsals together. Take three in one direction and then switch. Using your breath here to mellow out. Breathing into any sticky spots you may feel. Last big inhale, squeeze. Exhale, release, let's move on. Coming up to sit, we're gonna go right into feet and straps. You can do red and a blue or heavy and a light, or you can do two reds if you want more of a challenge. Headrest will go up, and let's place one strap on each of the feet. Legs will come up to 90 degrees. We're gonna start lifting and lowering. Again, creasing at the hips, big breath in. Exhale as we lower, inhale as we bring it up. So the feet can stop at 45 degrees, or if you have access to more range, assuming you can keep the ribs connected to the pelvis, let's explore that using your breath. Exhale, pushing down. Inhale, bringing it back up. Good, let's go for four. Relaxing the hands, relaxing the shoulders. Three. Last two. And one, good. Next, leg circles. We're gonna press down, open around, bring them together, and squeeze the legs together before you continue on down, around, together, squeeze. Let's go for four. This is three. Last two. And one. Increasing at your hip, sacrum really heavy. Big inhale at the top. Exhale, open the legs, draw them down, around, together, and close at the bottom. Crease at the hip to come up. Make sure your sacrum, bottom of your sacrum isn't coming up. Good. Let's continue on for four. Using your breath. Last three. Final two. And one, good, all the way up to 90. I'm gonna flip to Pilates V, heels together, toes apart. I'm gonna lower the legs down to 45. I'm gonna flex the feet, bring them out to a straddle, exhale, point, bring the feet together. Flex the feet, legs go wide, point the feet, legs come together, lots of inner thighs. Let's go for six. Exhale as you press, this is five. 
and press. These can go as wide as you'd like to, as wide as your range can muster safely. Just be careful. Good. Legs stay at the same plane, last two. Flex point as you come in. And last one. Press in. We're gonna point the feet, bring the legs together at the bottom. We're gonna go for beats. Beat, 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 beat. Just tapping the heels together, trying to keep the ropes from really wobbling too far. So we don't wanna do really fast, big motions. Really, really small, very, very controlled. After your next five, we're going to flex the feet. Heels stay together. Frog. Heels come in toward pelvis. Exhale, extend long. Ribs stay connected. Down. And sacrum heavy. Good. Still feel your 360 breath. Inhaling into the sides of your lungs. Exhale, zip everything up. Good. Let's go for four. Controlling on the way in. Three. Feeling those abs really work. Last two, and one. Good, frog circles. Now we bend the knees, heels come in, extend the legs up to 90 degrees, zip the legs together, press them straight down. Heels stay together as the knees bend, extend up, press down. We have four more in this direction. Control on the way up as much as on the way down. Keeping your sacrum heavy, pelvis neutral natural curve in your spine. Flexing at the ankles, nice and fluid, good. Now we reverse, legs come back up to 90 degrees, bend at the knees, heels come to pelvis, press out to 45 or lower. Crease at the hip, heels come toward your pelvis, exhale, press, up, press out. Check in with your face muscles, are you clenching your jaw? Are you breathing? If not, maybe start breathing. That's a good idea. <laughs> Easy to forget, though, with so much going on. Relax your face muscles. Relax your neck. Take your last one. And back up to 90 degrees. Let's take the straps off of the arches. Next, we're going to place hands and straps. Legs will come to tabletop. We're going to press the hands down. Raise them back up over the shoulders. If you need a little space between your shoulders and the shoulder blocks, feel free to take it. We're just gonna take a couple of these, starting to lift the head, neck, and chest. Breathing in. Exhale as you press down. Inhale as you lower back. Good, let's take four. And back. This is three. Back. Last two. And one, back, hands come out to a T. We're gonna lift up, press the palms in toward your sides. Lower down as they come out, big breath in, exhale. Push the palms in as you lift the head, neck, and chest. Lower them out. Good, you've got five, using your breath. This is four. Feeling your abs really work. Last two, relax your forehead muscles, and one. Good, back out to a T. Bring the arms up over your shoulders, rest the feet down on the foot bar for one moment. We're gonna bring the legs back up to tabletop, so a little bit of pressure into the palms. We're gonna press the hands down to 45, extend the legs out, bring them to external rotation, Pilates V, flip the palms to face your hips. We're gonna flex the heels, bring the arms out to that straddle again as the arms come out to a T. Exhale, arms come together as hands press into your hips. This is your butterfly. Flex to come out, point to come in. If you'd like to, you can exhale, bring the head, neck, and chest up as the arms go in. Everything comes to center at the same time. And if this is too much at any point, you could always peel back and just take the arms and legs. Let's take two more. Really using your breath to help you on this one. Very good, flip the palms to face down, bend the legs to tabletop, rest them down on the foot bar, keep, uh, let go of the straps, rest your arms out to the side. Let's rock your knees side to side, feet wide on the foot bar, letting your knees fall over. 
Feeling a little stretch through the chest here as well. Good. Bring your legs to parallel. Let's take a big inhale. Fill the air through the back of your lungs. Everything engages as you exhale. This time as you inhale, feel everything relax. Relaxing is just as important as engaging. We're gonna take two more. This time as you inhale, feel the air fill top to bottom, side to side, front to back. Feel that pelvic floor lift as you exhale. Good, pelvic floor relaxes as you inhale and lifts as you exhale. Let's continue on. So I had to zoom out a little bit for the next exercises so you could see me. My membership friends already are familiar with Ugly and Heater. Please welcome. Next, we're gonna go into Scooter. So I still have a red and a blue on. For this one, you could do a red if you want less resistance. I would like a little bit more just to really activate through the glutes and thighs. So my left foot is up against the shoulder block on the right side. I've got my front foot maybe a foot away from the front of the machine or a third of a meter. My hands are shoulder distance apart. I'm going to lift my back knee, bring my weight over my heel Heel, my knee over my heel. I'm going to press out and bring it in. Hips are square, shoulders are square. So I want to think about everything but that left leg staying stationary. So again, that idea of the left leg is a movie. Everything else is a still picture. I want to push through that back leg, feeling my glutes and hamstrings engaging. I'm gonna push into that right heel, that supporting heel too. My abs are engaged, I'm breathing hard, or breathing thoughtfully. Good, let's go for two more. And one. Good, lower, close the stopper, lower the knee for a sec. Next, we'll go for flying splits variations. So do what you can within the range of motion that you have. Hands are still on the foot bar. Walk my front foot a little bit closer to the front. I'm gonna lift my back knee, straighten it out, straighten the front leg. I'm gonna send the carriage away as far as I comfortably can. As I bring the leg forward, I'm gonna rock onto the ball of my foot and lift the heel. Press back, weight goes onto your heel. Press forward, weight comes onto your forefoot. Press back, weight on your heel, both legs straight. Lift the heel as you come in. Let's take two more. And back. Good. Now, next time you press out, I'm gonna bring my foot back a little bit more. We're gonna send the back leg straight. So I bring the carriage in, I'm gonna bend the knee in toward my chest. Place it back down. Bring the carriage in, front knee comes to chest. Good, keep this going. Let's go for another three. Last two. And one. Next, you can stay on that same spring load or take off the extra light spring if you like. We're going to send the carriage away. Right leg goes back, straight leg. Send the carriage away, hips go down. Right leg goes back. Three more only. Last two, and one. Good, place the knee down, draw the carriage in. Let's go right for the other side. So back on that heavy and light spring or red and blue, your front left foot is about a foot or a third of a meter away from the front of the machine. Hips and shoulders square. I'm gonna lift the back knee, press out, press in, press out, and in. Weight in that left foot is in your left heel. Nothing else, but that leg is moving. Using your core to support you. Think about that right hip wrapping forward. Good. And though we're working hard, particularly through the back of the leg, using our breath to support, engage, and relax. Good, nice. Lower the knee, we're gonna flip onto that red and yellow or heavy and extra light. Hips are square, we're gonna lift the back knee, extend the back leg long, front leg long, push away, 
Weight goes into your heel as we come forward, legs stay long, press your weight onto the ball of your foot. Press it away, weight goes on your heel, find your split, bring it forward, straight legs go onto the ball of your foot. Four more here. Breathing through this, three. And to adjust your foot position, go for it. Last two, square hips, straight knees, still breathing. And one. Good. I'm gonna bring my foot a little further in now. Straight back knee, I'm gonna send the carriage away as I bring it in, I'm gonna bend the knee, bring it into my chest. Send it away, into chest. Got four. So I'm piking the hips up, rounding through the spine, hiking that hip up, that knee up, pulling my abdomen in. Good. Quick rest. Now we're gonna take the split variation. Big breath in, gather yourself, lift the back knee, back leg goes long. So we bring the carriage in, we're gonna send the left leg straight back, bring it forward to a lunge. Back. Lunge it forward, pushing into that bar. Gather yourself, use your breath. Good, last one. And back, good. Bend the knee, bring the carriage to a close. Now we're gonna take a quick scooter stretch. So square off the hips, foot comes forward, hands on the foot bar. You know it, you love it. I'm gonna send the carriage back. Nice hip flexor stretch. We just worked it quite a bit with the spring load in the moving lunge series, flying lunge series. Let's move the carriage in and out. You make sure both hip bones are facing forward. Good. Let's rock back onto that left heel, hamstring stretch. Lower your chest. Lift up the chest, foot goes down now. Press back into your split if you would like to, or keep with the hamstring stretch if you like. Getting that length through your hamstrings. Roll it back in, we'll go for the other side. Left foot up against that right shoulder block. Right foot comes forward, square off the hips. Deep breath in, scooter stretch. Move in and out a few times. I like to keep the chest proud as I come up. So press the carriage back rather. Using your breath cues that we've been practicing on for days now. Think about how far you've come, how much stronger you've gotten, hopefully how much more centered you've gotten. Good, now let's rock back into our hamstring stretch. Front leg straight, flexing at the foot. Push into the bar, lower your chest if you'd like to. Get that deep hamstring stretch on the right side. Lift up, foot goes down. Hands on the foot bar, hips nice and square. We're gonna press back, both legs straight. And again, if you prefer to take the hamstring stretch variation instead of the split, go for that. Use your big breath. Exhale, draw the carriage in slowly with control. You did it. Oh, thank you so much for joining me today. This definitely was a little bit more of an energizing series today. If you're not yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to see you daily. And if you're not yet a member, please come join the party over there. I'm posting lots of fun stuff, especially that gets into props and different variations than you've seen here. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart to my membership supporters. You guys are making all of this happen and I so appreciate you. Thank you also to my super thanks supporters. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.